Then we get this heavyweight fight. Waldo Cortez Acosta and Jared Vendera. I like Vendera. I think he won the fight. I think he won the fight. And this is irritating to me because they kept talking about damage and and Bisping kept talking about damage. Damage, what is damage? What is damage? How do you define damage? What is damaging? The rules don't say anything about damage. They say the techniques that are used that uh, progress, something about progressing the fight towards the finish. That says nothing about damage. The word damage isn't used. I And even if they were saying damage, like Bisping himself said that uh, um, Vendera was throwing a lot of leg kicks that were doing a lot of damage and causing Costa to change his stance, uh, make moves, alter his fighting ability. He had to alter what he was doing to fight because the damage that Vendera was doing. Well, well, Waldo was just throwing and landing some punches on Vendera, but he didn't alter any of the way that Vendera behaved. Like he didn't hurt him. He didn't do damage. I don't think he did damage. Like just because he hit him. I don't. I thought this was a really bad decision. I thought Vendera easily won this fight. Chopped him like a tree. He got hit a few times, but he did more damage with the leg kicks than than Waldo did with uh, the punches. I don't think he landed enough or any, enough hard ones. He didn't land any punches that made Vendera wobble. He didn't make uh, Vendera shy away from anything. He didn't make him do anything that was out of his normal, ordinary fighting movements. But Vendera did. Vendera's kick changed the way that Cortez was acting, fighting, reacting. He was definitely doing damage. I thought it was very obvious, according to the new rules, which ones, you know, if you're going to go by damage, Jared Vendera did more damage. That's why I say this, that way of judging things is arbitrary. It's not good. We can't do it. It's too... It's too arbitrary. You can't take somebody off the street, have them read the criteria, and be able to uh, judge a fight perfectly every time. That that should be how well written the criteria are, but they're not. I can take my kids and give them a board game that I get at the store and have them read it, read the directions and 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 teach me and tell me how to play the game. They can set it up. They can get it ready. They can read it and figure it out and tell me how to do it. My children can do that. Why <laughs> Why can't something be written to explain how to judge in that same manner? I don't understand. I don't think they're really even trying. They want to keep it that way, I think. makes. I think it makes it easier for the promoters when they can screw up the winners of the fight sometimes, quite honestly.